Hi and welcome to another DCG tutorial. So today we're working on 2012 paper. It's the section A and we're on question A1. So short questions and this is axonometric projection question. So let's read through it. So the 3D graphic below shows a lecture. The drawn on the right shows an incomplete trimetric projection of a similar lecture using axonometric axis method. A. Complete the axonometric projection of the lecture. B. Determine and indicate the true diagonal length of the sloping rectangular top. Let's project everything down from the end view. Let's see if it's the same angle from this side. No, separate angle, so we're going to have to readjust. Actually, if it's a different angle, we're better off going with the two sets first. So that point here is that bottom point of that. So join those together will give you the top surface. That's straightforward enough. The base is partially done for you. So you have a length here and then they're giving you the point here. And they're giving you the point at the back there as well. So that's going to be a strong line there as well. It's going to be a strong line because that base is kind of a straight line line run through the middle and straight line here as well. Now the hard part is the curve. Now they look at the drawing, they give you a lot of information in the drawing. So if you see here, see these little black dots, alright? They correspond to the black dots here on the curve. So they're giving you heights. So if you project these heights down to the 3D and down here from the end view, it'll give you your range of points. So look they're even showing you how they got the first one. So that was the first height giving you one line from the end view okay and giving you two points from the elevation and now that gives you points on the curves okay so what you need to do is project all those heights across your platform here across the support part okay that's giving us our points here and we need to project down all of those lines all of those heights from the end view. So that's our second point here. Middle point. So if I label here to show you, we have point one, two, three, four, five. So we have Point one, two, three, four, and five is in underneath the next one here. So what we're going to do is, by projecting one down and projecting one down from the side here, they gave you point one on both sides. So we we'll do the same thing with point two. Project it from the end view. Which I've already done. And then project point two down from the elevation. And project both sides down. And find where they meet. So this is the line from 2. That's the height from 2. So that's one point. And then this is the other side of it. Which is here. And then that's the height again. So that's giving you two points either side. So just keep doing that. Project down from the elevation and from the end view and it'll give you all your points. We might not see this point five here but I'm gonna put it in anyways just because we need that curve. So this is the line from three. The height from three is this line here. This is the other side of three. That gives you the far side, point four. The height from four is this line here. That's the other side of four. And the line for it is here. And then 
double check that line because it's right here and the wrong way. So there it is. Five then is following down this line here. Uh, five is the height there, and the other side of it is here. So I joined those in freehand lightly, so they all join down. Back to your point here. The thing is, there's no hidden detail, so we already got the top point or the bottom right hand corner for the rectangular part at the top. So that means we're all going to see this section here and that section. That then you're going to see that point there. Okay, and that is the 3D of it done. So complete the estimated projection of the lecture, that's it done. And that's all you're going to see, there's going to be no hidden detail. The B, determine and indicate the true diagonal length of the sloping rectangular top. So diagonal means, again, diagonal length of it. So the diagonal is from corner to corner. So what we need is a true length of the base and the height. So the end view here is giving you a true length of the height. And the elevation here is giving you a true length of the length of it. So if I go 90 degrees to that edge view here, if I go 90 degrees up there, mark up that angle, or sorry, that length there, it'll give me a true length for the diagonal. So 90 degrees. line now it's going to be our length so if I get the length here from the end because that's the true length because you're looking straight at it it's not tilted at any angle that's the true length here if I mark that up to that side true length of the diagonal will not be the diagonal from the top right hand corner here to the bottom left hand corner and that's your true length Read the question carefully. It was determined to indicate the true diagonal length, not first, not horizontal vertical height of it, length or height of it. It was the diagonal length. So make sure you read the question correctly. So that is that question done. Nice little axiometric question. I hope that helped. If it did, leave a like. And if you'd like to see certain questions, certain years done, please let me know in the comment section below. Okay, thank you and good luck.